Okay, so I wanted to do a quick product review before I show you how I utilize this product. This is called Soy, or it's by Soy Ye, and it's called Island Teriyaki Marinade and Sauce. This stuff tastes really great. You know, a lot of times with teriyaki sauce, it can taste way too salty, but this brand I actually really like. And the ingredients is soy sauce, soybeans, uh, pineapple juice, vegetable oil, sesame seeds, um, dried onion, dried garlic, ginger puree, sesame oil, and dried ginger. And it's just a really good sauce. So I just wanted to kind of do a quick product review. And it has, this is not, it doesn't taste overly salty. It has a really nice flavor. And you can tell the sweet from the pineapple in there. It's really good stuff. So without further ado, I will show you what I'm going to do with this stuff. Okay, guys, we have a really, really hugely busy day today. So I'm using my friend the crock pot. I'm going to set it for about eight hours. We've got work and meetings and all kinds of stuff going on. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm just going to show you real quick what I'm going to do. I love putting the crock pot on in the morning when you come home from work or whatever. Everything's smelling nice and the work's all done and you can just sit down and relax. So that's the good part. So I'm going to just put the rest of this bottle in. I'd already used about half the bottle. So I'm going to just put the other half of the bottle in. And then I'm going to add, and I washed my crock pot off because it was like a hell of a mess. And I was embarrassed a couple times. Put a little bit of red peppers flakes in there. I was embarrassed sometimes with you guys because, you know, I would see that my crock pot was totally filthy and I was like, I got to do something about that. So I did. This is some chopped up celery, about three stalks of celery going in. And on this plate, I have the chai veggie, which is um, <laughs> one diced white onion, one diced big green pepper, and one smaller chopped red pepper. That's going in. Lots of veggies and lots of goodness in here that's going to smell really, really awesome when we come home from work today. And appointments and all the other stuff that we got going on. And I'm going to put some baby spinach in here also. My hubby loves spinach. He thinks he's Popeye. And so <laughs> we buy these big things of spinach and just cook it in everything. And it's good and it's healthy and you can live out your Popeye fantasies through it. So it's a good deal. And what I've got here, I thought it was wings, but I guess it is thighs. So I guess we are doing teriyaki chicken thighs tonight, which is okay. This is still halfway frozen, so I hope I can break it apart. Yeah, I can. Okay, so I'm going to probably put four of these chicken thighs in here. And that's going to be it. I have to go beat Huggy over the head to break this uh, chicken up or something. It's frozen. I thought I got it out soon enough, but I guess I didn't this morning, like around 5 when I first got up. And it's still frozen a little bit. So four pieces going in. And that's going to sit all day and cook away. And it's going to be beautiful when we come home tonight. And then Mama's going to sit down and take a nice, relaxing break. And then I will come back, show you how it turned out, and show you how I cook my rice for this dish. So I'll be back later on, guys. we got a busy day today, so we got to get going. Talk to you later. Okay. Okay, we're back. And look at this meal. Look how good it looks. I love the crock pot. It just smells wonderful when you come back home. Okay, well, I'm going to show you how I make my rice. Totally unconventional way. It's my way. Sue's quick and easy way. And it works for me. I don't use measurements. If you watch my show, you know that I do not measure. So I'm just not a measuring girl. So I just put in a micro safe, microwave safe bowl. So in a microwave safe bowl, I just put my rice in here and then I am going to take some, first I'm going to take my chicken out of here and put it on this nice paper plate. 
<clears throat> or at least a couple pieces so that I can get to some of this wonderful broth. I think that they stuff those thighs full of water because there's a lot of juice in this crock pot and the chicken has really shrunk. Oh, come on. We know we, that they do that. But look at that. It's just like so beautiful. All those vegetables. And I'm just getting this good broth in here with my rice. And I'm going to just keep on doing that. And then once I get most of this broth, I will come back. Okay, so I have most of my broth and vegetables in here with the rice that I put in. No measurements. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of water, probably. Oh, I'm not doing measurements. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm not doing measurements. Okay. So I filled half broth, half water. Just give it a stir. Put it in the microwave for 20 minutes and it comes out with rice perfectly cooked every single time. I'm not lying. I do this method every single time I cook rice. So I'll come back when I plate this wonderful creation and show you what it looks like. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, there's a shot of my rice. It's perfectly cooked. I can't explain it. It's just perfectly cooked rice every single time. My method just works. There's a method to my madness. Okay, I am going to take my perfectly cooked rice. <laughs> just, I can't get over it. I'm bragging because it looks so good and I am so ready for dinner. It's like, I'm real. I'm going to spray it down with a little spray. I cannot believe it's not butter. I would love to say that it was butter, but I have to say it's not. Okay. I still haven't put my lid back on. It's broke off and I haven't put it back on yet. Lazy. Okay. So I'm going to get my couple pieces of chicken here and some of the vegetables that are still in the crock pot. And look at that. It looks lovely. I cannot tell you enough how good this smells too. So I'm going to take a little taste test for y'all and see how it is. Okay, nice skin piece. I love the skin. It's not good for you, but I love it. Yum. It's so good. So yeah, try out this uh, soy yay sauce, island teriyaki, and try this recipe because it is so, 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 so good. Thanks for joining me here on Sue's Quick and Easy. Join me next time where we have another simple, easy, quick dish. And uh, get in your kitchen, rattle some pots and pans, and get to cooking. Mm, I'm going to go eat. Bye. Get my junk down the garbage. Disposal garbage. Disposal garbage. Disposal. Getting all my junk down the garbage. Disposal. Oh, I'm gonna do it all day. Well, no, I don't really want to do that all day. But. Okay, get down. Get down tonight. Uh oh, I got some stuff. Where do I got stuff? Okay. Ah! Oh, damn! I had a spoon down the friggin' disposal. Oh, no, it was a fork. Oh, yeah, that was lovely, too. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to give myself a friggin' heart attack. Oh. It wouldn't be... Just wouldn't be Sue's quick and easy unless I did something really retarded. Okay, talk to you guys this evening when we get back home. Bye. Trying to kill the garbage disposal. Shirt inside out. Oh, gosh, I'm a dork. That's what I get for getting dressed in the dark in the morning, huh? <laughs>